Hey, what's going on? I'm gonna show you how to make some easy target stands today. These are using a different sawhorse for holding your AR-500 targets. This right here, we got a sawhorse bracket. It comes with two of them in it. You can get these for about eight bucks. You can get them online at Amazon or any of your hardware stores. So uh, you just gotta add wood to these. And then this one, this runs you about 26 bucks on Amazon. You can find them at Home Depot and Lowe's as well. It's a, a metal folding sawhorse. We're gonna get this set up as well. This holds 250 pounds, so it's perfectly strong enough to hold your AR-500 targets. Let me get these out of the box and we'll get them set up. Okay, now what you're gonna wanna need for these is a couple lengths of chain. That's what's actually gonna hold your target. Some bolts, screws, and a couple two by fours cut up. I went with uh, four foot sections. So inside just comes with these two metal brackets. And I got some Little two by fours here that I cut up. Any scrap wood will work. You're going to be shooting at them. There's going to be leading and spalling hitting them. So. These are nice because they have the pre drilled slots for your screws. So it's very easy to put together. Alright, and as you can see, this is a very cheap option. This wood was just what I had left over from uh, this concrete pad I'm building the reloading room. So, uh, this didn't cost me anything except for the $8 for the two brackets and then a few bucks for some chain. So, what's nice is, is it does fold up, doesn't take up much room for storage or for traveling. If you, if you drive to your range, this makes a great one. Now, this next one I'm going to pull out is the metal salt horse. Same setup, it's foldable, doesn't take up much room. So uh, we'll move this out of the way and we'll start with it. Now, if you can see, these already have the two holes. That's where we're gonna set the bolts through and then anchor some chains to it. It's gonna be a swing target. But this one folds up, doesn't take much room. And this does hold 250 pounds, so it's plenty sturdy enough for your target. Uh, just open it up. lock it in and here they are like I said this is just temporary to show you uh, lumber source clothes go get another board it's gonna look the same as that it's gonna have a chain hanging down uh, every shooter is different but for handguns I don't like to shoot at the ground so I like a lot higher of a target stand and then for rifle it doesn't matter I can 100 yards away you'll never notice the difference now with this one I'll put a link below for both these items uh, this one, what is nice is when you take the target off, it will still fold up with the chains just by folding the chains and then folding the legs. Another great part, this one has a carry handle. So when you unload it out of your car, pick it up, super light. Walk to wherever you need it, set it up and shoot it. I do feel this is going to be the better option out of these two. This one is still very nice. You can shoot at it all day. You shoot the board up, go spend another $2, get a new section of wood, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. You're gonna see these in use in my next video. Got another uh, AR500 video coming for you. Got a few different sizes. Uh, very nice company, very nice products. This happens to be one of theirs. Uh, we're gonna get them set up, have a few different style target stands, and then uh, we're gonna get them shot up.